So if you go immediately south from the town, you will find an oasis. Good God, and a bandit. Ah, Jesus. Okay, no, get away. Get away from me! Oh, that was so close. Check it out, it's an oasis. With special trees, and I know what they have in them. Shazam! You got a lime! Restores 3 FP. And this one, a lemon. Oh yeah, I remember what this does. This allows you to upgrade one of your buddies. Super block. You can upgrade one of your party members. The memory you will upgrade will gain attack power. Party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Uh, Goombario will master charge. His attack power will go up. Well, that does not help him not being able to attack spiked enemies, so no. He master Dizzy Shell to paralyze enemies. That really... Once the enemies get so strong, they don't really become susceptible to getting paralyzed and whatnot. Showmaster Power Bomb to attack all on-ground enemies. Well, that's interesting, but uh, there are a lot of enemies not on the ground these days. Master Aleph to carry an enemy from battle. Well, that sucks because uh, you're not able to uh, get XP from them. But his attack, his attack power does go up, so... Um, I'll just go ahead and pick him. You want to upgrade this member? Yes. Yes, I certainly do. I knew it. I knew it was gonna. This was gonna happen. God Almighty! I hope this doesn't last too long. Little glitchy blocks and stuff. All right, Paracuries upgraded to super rank. Hills, yeah. And look at this. I would have found a heart box anyway. Damn. Alright, well, I want to go find that stone cactus now. Oh, God. Oops, stay away. Stay away. Ah. Okay. Oh, and another thing about those blocks, those super blocks, um, you can find, you find two for every member of your party in the whole game, so, uh, yeah, if you, if you somehow manage to find them all, you can, you can find enough to upgrade your entire party twice, which is pretty nifty, so, okay, from this stone cactus, you go south, Three, one. Two. Ah. Ah. Three. You go west. Two. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I did not see that. Well, son of a bitch. I guess I gotta fight some pookies. My game just skipped a beat there for some reason. Bam. Yeah, that thing is no... Laughing matter. Oh, God. Look at that. That's so annoying. Now, look at this. I gotta use. Because Skydive, he'll hurt his foot or something if he. Son of a bitch. Are you shitting me? Oh god.
here, this will end the party pretty damn quick. Huzzah! Give me that flower point. Yeah. Let's go on one more. Attack effects. Are you serious? That's all that's out here. God. All right. Well. In that case, I guess I'll just run all the way back up. Unless, oh. Ah. I forgot what that little toad guy said about whirlwinds, but whatever, not a big deal. God, those things are fast. Oh, God. Stone Cactus? Uh, that little tip was a lot more trouble than it's worth. Hey, there's that guy. I wonder if he's got anything in his tree. Hey. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Go ahead and spin dash right on in that little peg and while well, my game skips a frame. Okay, now I can continue to do what it is I am here to do. And that mouse came out of this shop, so okay, it's temporarily closed. Well that lead is dead. I will now Hunt for him elsewhere. I believe he was a purple mouse. And I want to do this. Hey there. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, or you might get more coins for winning. Others, stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but is also unpredictable. Uh, yeah, she, that woman, like, the other people that look like that are fortune tellers, and they'll, god damn it, what the hell? They'll, like, tell your fortune, blah, blah, blah. That woman will actually cast a spell on you, and, uh, it'll, like, depending on how much money you give her, it'll, her, the effect will take a, the effect will happen more often, or something like that, I don't, I'm not really sure. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. I guess I'll give them something. I got three honey syrups, so... Ah, you give me something. You might be nice. If you're really, if you're a very nice guy, you'll give me something more. How about another honey syrup? Ah, you give me something. You might be nice. If you're a very nice guy, you'll give me something more. How about... Uh, God damn it, how about a lime? You give me many things. Very nice guy, yes, very nice. My name is Sheik, I trade in information, things others do not know. So nice guy, what would you like to know? How to get to the ruins. You must see Mr. Mustafa to find the resting place of dry, dry ruins. Mr. Mustafa is a descendant of the great robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. He is somewhere in the town, yes, but exactly where, only his close followers know. I could tell his secret, but only to the nicest of nice guys, yes. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more, yes, you understand? Well, I'm going to have to buy some more items, I reckon. Which is really annoying. And I'm glad that I didn't just go ahead and spend a bunch of money on that, uh... You bastard, come back here. I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of money on that, uh... That fortune teller lady. What is that? Oh yeah, I was just wondering. 
Hey buddy, welcome traveler. This is the renowned Little Mauser's shop of Dry Dry Outpost. What can we interest you in? Uh, check means you store items and claim means you take items out of your storage. Uh, crap. Well, I don't... Alright. Blah, blah. I will buy... Oh yeah, you just stand in front of the thing. Well, this is only two sh two coins. That's two coins. Dusty hammer, I'll buy it. Dried shroom, I'll buy it. Uh, dried pasta, I'll buy it. Why not? Okay, now go back to this guy. I need to find out where Mustafa is. Hey, buddy. Yes, give something. How about the dried pasta? Thank you for truly for giving things. Favorite food. My favorite food starts with an L and ends with an N. It's a yellow fruit, so sour. Such a nice fragrance. Its tree grows only in the desert oasis outside town. If you were to go to the oasis and get one for me, I might believe you're a true nice guy. For, of course, only the nicest of guys can meet Mustafa. If you still seek knowledge... Hey! Check it out! How's that? Oh, heavenly, a lemon! The nicest of nice things! You've proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. Yes, Mustafa, thank God. To find Mustafa, go to the shop in this town. First buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order, yes. Remember, dried shroom first, then dusty hammer. Secret sign known to those loyal to Mustafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you still seek knowledge, no, thank you, goodbye. Oh, I totally just fast forward through what he said, but... I totally just bought those things, those exact things, but in the wrong order, of course. Ah, <sighs> God. First dried shroom. And then dusty hammer. Ah! What ho! Buying a dusty hammer after a dried shroom is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know. That means you're in with Mustafa. Hey, brother, good to meet you. Have a, you uh, have any questions you need answered? Yeah. Parakiri's glitching the fuck out over there. I just saw him. Jesus. You want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. Well, what does that mean? Oh, I think I... <laughs> I've got to find... Hey! Check it out! Come on, you can fly, for goodness sake. Letter! And I totally didn't even see who it was for. Nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. Dun -dun. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you wanted to go to Dry Dry Ruins. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a feeling you're on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If, it, if I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. The Pulse Stone. This Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The pulse stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the pulse stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. 
Find the place where the pulse stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. Alrighty, will do. Or as some of you have pointed out, I should have just said K. I, I don't know if I need to rest again or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Thanks, dude. Alright, let's go ahead and... Run all the way back here. Save me game. And... So... Uh... If I remember correctly, the pulse stone will just, like, appear above my head if I'm close to it. If I'm close to the ruins. So I'm just gonna wander into the... Okay, here we go. Oh, gosh! Okay. Well, that's not cool. That thing just freaked me out really badly for some reason, so... Alright, here we go. Use a good old power bounce on him. Ta-da! Yeah, I noticed a bunch of you guys in the comments were like, Use the power bounce badge, you dumbass! And I totally just used the wrong attack on that guy. God damn it. Oh well, you failed. But, uh... Yeah, a bunch of people were like, Use the power bounce bag, what are you, what are you stupid? Like, and... I was kinda hesitant to use the power bounce badge. But, dang. Whoa! Because... Um, I wasn't too confident in my abilities with the... The whole... da ah! <laughs> The whole action command thing is... But I'm getting pretty confident, I guess. And you know what that means, I'm gonna fuck up. So... Uh... And use it on this guy. The frame rate would drop the instant I'm trying to hit an action command, where I have to be so precise with it. I hate using all this FP, but I mean, what's, what's the point in not using it? Alright! Destroy all that. I wonder if it's this way. Ta da! Let's remember that guy talking about the trees in a triangle? Let's Mario earn star points even if he escapes from battle. That's pretty nifty. I don't ever run away from battle though. this way. Getting closer. Put oh god. I hate those things. They're so fast. Oh goodness gracious. Well, I... Let's see... Let's go ahead and... Well... <sighs> Whatever. Well, that was stupid. On second thought, I probably should have taken out that pokey, but whatever. I don't even care. And I should have hit that action command, but I didn't.
Hmm. Going to change members. Yeah, I thought you had me there, did you? Alright. Hey, I'm about to level up again. Probably upgrade my FP because I'm a special uh, special move hog. God, get hammer the freaking thing already! Ah, no! All right. So, do I go up or do I go left? Clearly, should have gone up. Okay. Ah! All right. Which way do I go? Up or left, or I'm gonna keep going up, I guess. Hell yeah, here we go. Put the pull stone in this oddly shaped rock. Totally one of the most badass things ever in an N64 game. <laughs> he knows. Awesome. And there you have it. All right. Um, there should definitely be a save block around here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna make a save state, like so. And we will enter dry, dry ruins in a future video. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.